Come on. Give me the stick. Okay. Yeah. Good girl. Go get it. Good girl. The freaking dick are you doing? Come help me. Hey. Ah, what right. are you freaking doing? You know, Come up here and help me, you damn tool bag! <laughs> Get it because it's a toolbox? <laughs> Get up here! This truck's too high. Did you just say the truck's too high? <sighs> truck's never too high, you dumb son of a dick. Oh, it's zip tied, I think. I forgot I bought this truck from Kentucky. <laughs> What's cracking, mother truckers? How y'all doing today? You know, you can just hold the freaking camera, numb nuts. You freaking play kick right off the bat. Dude. Nope. So, just working on the K20 a little bit today, you know what I'm saying? So, it's a little bit cooler out. It's been hot as a son of a dick, dude. Like, in this region right here, straight up waterfall. Like, out the butt crack. Not good. So, anyways, you guys know how it is. Most of y'all are in the south, stuff like that. Actually, I kind of always wanted this. I've always wondered this. Sorry, I can't enunciate. I went to the dentist yesterday, and I got a big-ass freaking bite. I bit my tongue because it's numb. So, I'm dipping. I'm trying not to touch it to the dip so it doesn't go like, you know, spiciness. I don't even know if I'm making sense. I promise I'm not on drugs right now. Maybe if an hour ago, but. Anyways, you guys let me know in the comments below where you're from. Let me know your woods. Rep your woods in the comments below. Let me know where you're freaking from, cause I uh. Hey, get over here. Get your, get over here. Damn dogs, man. I wanna know where y'all are from, dude. I'm from Colorado. My name's Outlaw, how you doing? Where y'all from? <laughs> Don't freaking... <laughs> so anyways, first thing I'm trying to do is get this toolbox out the back because we got to mount this fuel cell in where this is going. And this is like an old ass toolbox. Hey, Luna, get your ass over here right now. Gonna put the fuel cell where this goes. Don't really need this some dick no more. So we need to f figure out how to get this some out of here and it's probably heavy and it's locked. And I got some goodies in here, and I don't even think I got the key. Actually, cut the part out. I think I do have the key. <laughs> ah! We gotta open the damn toolbox up. There's tack screws in there. Ugh. Get your fat ass through that window right now and give me that freaking key, dude. <laughs> every second, every second you don't get the keys, you get a spank. <laughs> Sound like that guy from Nacho Libre. <laughs> Which key is it? I feel like a freaking janitor right now. I feel like it's one of these. Here we go. This has got to be it. Yeah. Ah, yeah. All right. I need my drill. We got tack screws. Show them other truckers. Hey, my old gas can. Damn, look at all the goodies in here. All these fluids and old seat covers, gas can that's broken. And they got these screws up in here. We'll just take them out and pull it right out. I could push you and just you up right now you realize that so do it oh god what's up angel got the drill had to borrow it from uh pop outlaw what the heck like totally fashionable clothes are growing out of style everybody knows that i i could do a fashion show right now <laughs> i look like i'm from the 70s it's been so long yeah wow well. time to screw off Oh, that's what I'm good at. <laughs> There's one. I can't believe somebody would just drill straight into a square body like this. I did not do this, guys. This was previous owner, obviously. Can't believe somebody would do it to this pretty freaking truck. There's no rust on this freaking thing. Like, how stupid do you have to be? <sighs> trying to make me look like an idiot? <laughs> All right, it is loose, baby. I hope you've been doing your outlaw dip curls. We're gonna need it. For the girls. Yeah! Outlaw tip of the day, lift with your back, not your legs. Don't be a freaking idiot. Mother trucker! Oh! Wow, one sun screw. God dang it. It's like a freaking eight millimeter. Go get me an eight millimeter. You'll know what size it is because if you just look in your pants, it's the same thing. It's a long one too.
hang la, hang la, hey. Hang la, say la, hang 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 Oh, I have just the thing for you. Really? Here you go, try some outlaw energy. I can't believe this is really a drink. Where can you get this, in-law? Outlawenergy.com. Do you have a code for me to save some money? To get buy one, get one free, use the code Jared Bogo. Thanks, man. I'm gonna go wash myself off because I'm sticky as f <laughs> Don't forget to put two items in your cart when you use that code so you can get one for free. Time's a ticket, so make sure you do it quick because the offer ends when you die. All right, toolbox is out. I've actually never seen it out of the truck before, but I wanted to get that guy out because this fuel cell right here is going to be mounted to the back wall with straps. I'm actually not going to do that. I'm probably going to let Billy do that guy or maybe Dang and I can do it. Uh, I just had a brain fart. Like I literally heard my brain go. It was kind of weird and it stinks. Ugh. But that's not important right now. What's important right now is this box that I've had for like 18 months and it got rained on, but in this box from Summit Racing is probably the most important piece to any truck that you can do. I'm telling y'all right now, we're gonna possibly freaking put it in today. Ain't got much time, it might freaking rain on us, but I'm gonna open this big up. I've had this crap forever, man. And this has been for the K20 and it is a very important piece. Now, you guys remember the old videos of us building this thing, and we did pretty much everything. We put a 383 stroker in it, we lifted it, we put a limited slip in the in the rear, which, you know, we should have just gone with a legit freaking locker or whatever. But this is one of the most important, we did an electric fan in there to keep it cool, but we didn't do anything else. And that's what this is for. I can't even believe we, like, why was I such a cheap bastard back then? I didn't end up getting this in the first place. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the most important things you could do to your truck. Golly. Ugh. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, help me, son of a bitch. Ugh. It's an aluminum radiator. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, super important piece of equipment for any truck to keep it cool because a cool truck hold on let's start that over all right so no do it over again no just wait a second because i'm freaking trying to think you still you don't you don't hurry up put it down nobody likes a hot truck uh literally not metaphorically because everybody likes a hot truck metaphorically but not literally you want your truck to be cool Literally and metaphorically. That's why you need this. Golly, that took me a minute, didn't it? <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, I still got the stock radiator up in that dick. This is a four core aluminum radiator. Having an aluminum radiator makes it freaking cooler. And uh, we just need to throw that guy in there. So the weird thing is, I put the gosh dang, Hold on. I put these dual electric fans on here on, a, on the stock freaking plastic ass radiator still. And I'm like, what am I doing? The truck was still overheating, it wasn't doing good. And uh, I think it's time, man. I think it's time for the new guy to keep it cool, bruh. I'm done. What the f When your brother brings you a crappy socket? Sock him. <laughs> In law. Yeah. Grab me a flathead and a Phillips. Take this hose clamp. I'll loosen this guy. Don't poop on me. Oh, it's dry. Those things weren't even on. Oh, fan. Oh. Damn. Oh, damn. Daniel. Looks like we got some of this wiring strapped around here. Just need to possibly loosen that guy. There we go. Make this ground off. Don't want to lose this screw. I think we're okay to leave the solenoid on. We can pull this guy out. Just need to take that dude off. We should be on. What up, dog? What's up, dog? 
Man, I'm freaking filming right now, dude. I got my outlaw boots on. You guys can get them on outlawdipperbitch.com. What kind of news you got for me, man? We got the new boots rocking or what? Well, they're coming, yeah. They're coming. Sometimes. I can't wait. Awesome. Are you really in the middle of filming? Can you answer a question for me? Yeah, dude. I'll, I'll freaking answer a question for you. Eight inches. Eight inches? Well, you know, you can dream, but that's cool. <laughs> Luckily, I'm just on some gravel or something like that because I just took the bottom hose off and was trying to catch it in the bucket and it just went everywhere else. So, put the dogs inside. Dogs like the smell of antifreeze. It's nice and sweet, so they like to lick it and it can kill them. So, don't want them out here with that. But everything's loose, ready to come out. Pull this some dick. I don't want to spill that. There is the old guy. Yeah. Sorry, I've been eating a lot of asparagus. You know what I'm saying? Look how much mud is caked up in the freaking radiator right there. Oh boy, yummy. Now we get this new guy right here. Plug and play, baby, plug and play. In-law, will you do the honors? Scoop. Look how much prettier, man. Oh dang, I could just marry it. Whoa, that's great. Well, meant to do that. All right. Tether down wire wheel. Okay, let's fit this some dick on. Oh man, it's a little bit better fitting than the other one. I don't know if these old hoses gonna fit on this guy. Oh, it's so close. Oh, it's toy like a toyger. Got it. All right, don't let her go, bro. Now it's tight. All right, we'll deal with that in a minute. The bottom one will definitely fit. The bottom one's kind of the same way. Gosh dang camera freaking turned off. Anyways, got the radiator in. Just gotta hold this guy up. Uh, oh my gosh. You freaking serious? Yeah, you better get. Yeah, you better, dude. Freaking saw me and was like, Zoom. Anyways, as I was saying, just got to throw this guy in and we're good to go. But as I was rudely interrupted by the plane and rudely erupted by the camera turning off because it's too hot, uh, I was saying this these, This is a Permacool dual electric fan that I put Dang and I put in here uh, a couple years ago. And I'm not a big fan of it strictly because they've got this solenoid attached here and stuff like that. And it's like if it gets any moisture on it whatsoever, it just does not work. You know, we don't got no skid plates or anything on this, which we will fab up for the future, but it's not the greatest, but it is pretty expensive. I believe this one was like 800 freaking bucks, dude. So, freaking serious. Anyways, I'm gonna get this tidied up later. I wanna show you all something new I got, but you gotta give me a second because I gotta move some stuff around, all right? We'll see you in a second. Let's do a cool transition. And then remember on the next one to come back in from the other way, you know? That's cool. Yeah, okay. Ladies and gentlemen. We have a new bumper. A new bumper for, stand on that. A new bumper for what, you may be asking. Well, you guys know we needed a new one for that right there. The El Camino, baby. So this is the rear bumper. We obviously have one for the front, because you just saw it. This guy's the new one right here. Just got the original one. This is from Original parts group. They pretty much got everything online. So before I flip this guy around, I'm gonna go ahead and take these tires out. We got the new ones on there. And then we'll flip her around and throw that guy on, baby. And then El you know, Camino will be complete. So, like I said before, previously, I don't know if you guys remember, but the old bumper had a little bow in the top of it, and it was hitting the tailgate when you put it down, which was scratching the new paint. So, obviously, no freaking bueno. What the hell, did I not get any bolts or nothing? Or mounting hardware? The old mounting hardware's at Tom's house, the body guy. Son of a dick. He took the brackets as well. Well, I'm gonna have to call Tom because this does not look like the same bumper because I didn't notice, but it has like the reverse lights are like 
or whatever, I don't know. Maybe that's the old, where the old exhaust went. This does not look familiar to me. Like it just doesn't look like it works there. Whatever the hell those are. It does not look like my old bumper. I'm gonna call him and tell me to send him a picture because it does not look right to me. Well, he didn't answer, but I'm gonna have him send me a picture. It looks the same everywhere, but here, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I'm being an idiot, but it doesn't look normal to me. And we don't have any mounting hardware. It didn't come with any of the mounting hardware, so I guess we're not putting that on today. But I'm hoping that I don't have to return this because that would suck. D and here I sit next to the very front axle that is going in the K20. Now, if we look at the comments back on the last truck video I did, I asked you guys, what locker should I go with in these guys right here? And I think by listening to you guys, we have decided on doing a Detroit locker in the rear. And a lot of you guys were saying doing a Detroit locker in the front, but I do not want to do that because the turning is going to be almost impossible on that son of So not gonna do a Detroit locker in the front. If I do end up going with a locker in the front, it'll probably be something like an air locker because uh, I want to be able to steer when I'm when I need to. And I might just leave it with no locker in the in the front. I don't know. So we'll have to we'll we'll have to see if you guys have any other options or whatever. Just let me know in the comments below. But this is the front axle. This is Danny 60. Danny, Danny 60. We have ordered the parts and everything for the stuff, so we should be getting those in soon and building these guys up. But I got a question. What do you guys want to see us do on the K20? What is some more stuff you guys want to see us do on that some dick? If there's enough of you guys in the comments below, thumbs in each other up and telling each other what we need to do, maybe we will freaking do it right here on the Outlaw channel, boy. Make sure to hit subscribe because we've got a lot of good shit coming your way. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. We'll see y'all on the dip side. My name's Outlaw and I'm out, y'all. Always remember, no matter what you're doing, 25, 8, 366. Keep it freaking healed, Billy, you son of a dick. Speaking of dicks, I like to kick them. Now my competition moving like molasses. Got girls cooking shots so I could look at their fat asses. Riding into town, I'm a horse with the force. They